Hi guys, thank you for joining me. So this is a really special video. Golly, I feel choked up about it. My son wanted a book for his birthday. So you know I love making books. So I made him a book. How about that? And I had a lot of fun with it, and um, it's custom just for him. He helped me pick it out. These pieces here, and here, and here, are this Dollar Tree metal trim. How about that? And I, um, let me put them away so they're not in the way. And I used uh, these this is a set of Dollar Tree markers, okay? So you can see the colors. Um, they do have Sharpies in these colors, in, in different colors, and I got them to make alcohol ink. But I used the brown one and just colored, just colored the, uh, the stuff in brown. And didn't it turn out neat? Didn't it? age it neatly I just think it looks great I love it love 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 it and then I had a lot of this uh, I got it in two styles and I just colored it and it turned to this amazing patina isn't that cool and I glued the ribbon on and I had a whole uh, well I've used this a few times but I had some of this pleather left that I made uh, a tablecloth with years ago so then I just put a piece of the pleather to wrap around and then I sewed this down I didn't sew on the edges where you could see it I just did little stitches in between all of this stuff that you can't really see I didn't want to do it on the edges you know and then I before I attached it I did roll these under so they weren't sharp okay and I did put little corners on. And then I just glued this ribbon on. It's got a wood grain cover with this atlas. And then I used craft paper to bind it. And then covered it with a piece of wood grain. And um, I used a lot of folders. And um, then I used five paste pages of paper for each signature it has eight signatures and then he liked brown he liked this is a uh, craft colored wax thread and I just did a stitch every half inch and then I used some of my whale tail tabs and then um, I did eight signatures and he likes green and natural and then this is all of the pages have gray lines. They None of them have the blue lined paper. Like this is cra uh, cream ivory paper with gray lines. This is white with gray lines. And then I use that folder for that signature. Um, this is green, just green cardstock. And this is white with gray lines, gray graph. And then... Um, this is ivory cardstock, no, ivory paper, and it's legal size. So then I, uh, I, I did a flip out, so I thought that was fun. And then this is some spray paint kind of cardstock, and this is white with gray dotted lines. And, um... This is cr different craft papers. I didn't put a folder on this signature. It's a, a real tough craft paper. This is Amazon packaging. This is blank newsprint. It's just like a newspaper. My sister gave it to me. It's just like newspaper, but it's blank. And then more Amazon. This is some air fryer papers I got that I love the crinkle. He liked it too. Here's more heavyweight more newsprint Amazon packaging newsprint Amazon packaging air fryer crinkle heavyweight craft and then the rest of the signatures just the same that signature I did more than five pages I guess 
He's a science genius. So I did the, the uh, what is that called? You know. Mm. Okay. The galaxy stuff. What is that? You know. I don't know. The board's gone. Here's a uh, real nice cream paper with uh, dark gray dots. Constellation. That's what it is. Right? Um, here's more wood grain. And this is sketch paper. And I finished it with a piece of heavyweight craft. And then I just put more wood grain over it to finish it. And then more constellation stuff on there so there there is another book I've got one to make I made another one that I was going to show you all how this is uh, with these little Timu papers to be just like the mini books and I got uh, I have a pack of the pink and it's gorgeous and I will be making um, a book out of that too but I made one out of the uh, medieval medieval rose red one okay so um, that's really that's really fun you know these mini books I got from Timu the ones uh, Regina just showed them in a Timu Tuesday video um, these are what gave me the idea to start making books and I think I've made about six now. And I just love DIY books. And I will, sh if you want, I, I have everything I need to make another one. These are double-sided pages, but they're only single width. So I have to join them. The last time I used vellum, on this one I used vellum. And it, it kind of didn't want to glue the best. So I thought the next time I would try tracing paper and see how that did. But I want to use something transparent, you know. And the vellum did fine. Just see like here it's sticking up. It just didn't do the best. So I'm going to try tracing paper next and see. Like here you can get your, it looks li a little lifted. So I thought uh, tracing paper might be nice, okay? So tell me if you want to see that. I love, love, love making mini journals. I think this one has one, two, three, four, I don't know, five or six signatures. And then this one has eight. So, uh, but that it has folders which aren't as perfect a line as, a fold is not as perfect a line as a, uh, cut now I got them cut they looked perfect before I uh, added the folders and then they're not as perfect aligned as uh, just all papers you know so it did it's not perfect it's not as perfect as papers just because of the different height of the folders the folders changed it a little bit but it's still pretty neat I think I, I think I, I tried it I did as neatly as I could but paper doesn't score and fold as neatly as it cuts so tell me what you think my baby boy he's my youngest and uh, he he just turned 22 he was born right like six days before 9-11 so that's my baby so there there's his birthday present, and he loves it. He's really happy with it. Okay, so tell me what you think. Love you, bye.